Chick, yeah, it's your boy Fist in his house, bringing another great edition of Crisis 2 in the Xbox 2, because hey, that's what I do. Giving you a comprehensive, opinionated review based on my experiences of playing it from nonstop Tuesday morning all the way till just now, Thursday night. And the reason I had to do that is because this isn't a noob game. This is a crossover PC game that, you know, it took many years to come to the console. And to make it work was pretty amazing in itself. Now, as far as mechanically uh, operational and functional for the consoles compared to PC, you know, and the reviews for the PC, you know, most of these reviews are written off the um, history of Crisis on PC gaming. So you're going to get a lot of great reviews regardless. And... Uh, to me, I always have to play the game and give you my opinion. So grab some popcorn and press the pause button. And I'm going to start with the weapons and go all the way through it and tell you the reasons why I think the the opinions that I do. And and you can make your own decision and, and where to go with this on this game. Now, I'm going to start out these weapons. So you got like, you got, I think you got five classes. You got the SMGs, the assault rifles the the uh, shotguns the LMGs and the snipers the only one that has three in its class is the LMGs and one of them is like a grenade launcher so you got two of the S SMGs one the feline or I think it's feline and it's a uh, it's a uh, um, just a regular SMG and the K-volts like a disruptor nano suit disruptor a electric one now you cannot open this you cannot get this gun until you reach level 21 so uh, and then you got the scar for the assault rifle, the grenadelle, and this and the scarab for the assault rifles. And then you see the shotguns, and then you see the uh, heavy with the LMGs and uh, the sniper rifles. Now, here's what I want to say about the weapons in itself. When you have a new game and it is released to the public, and the fault that I see in this is, is that your next weapon that you release isn't until like level 21 to get to the SMGs and there's no selection there so basically everybody in the game is running around with the scar that's it the SMGs are useless completely useless unless you literally have knowledge's knowledge of the maps with rapid fire and maybe silencer and a scope on it now you could put up to three things attachments on each weapon and you have to earn those with EXP and EXP is not easy to come by in this game so when I base my opinions off a game there's gotta be a a fluidity fun factor there and if the fluidity fun factor isn't in the game then I can't enjoy it and so I wouldn't expect you to enjoy it so you have three perk classes you got armor stealth and power so you got this armor here you have a uh, air stomp threat tracker uh, proximity alarm arm enhancer nano uh, recharge detonation delay and energy transfer um, these are pretty self-explanatory uh, threat tracker the only one I can tell you is that it, a helicopter or UAVs can't see you proximity alarm is for campers to sit in the corner the armor enhanced just gives you less armor drain on your shield and you can move a lot faster once you go up to level three in that particular perk now I, I ran most of these perks up to to try to find the right com combination because this game is based on invisibility the sad part about this game is is that you are forced to play in this particular type of game mode until you reach level 28 to play classic which does not have any of the stuff in there meaning that you don't have to worry about invisibility but until then you're forced to play this particular style of gameplay so now we go to stealth you got stealth enhancement blind spot um, helicopters can't see you covert operations this is one of the only counters for invisibility which run this game into the ground uh, is the ability to hear footsteps and you have to it's basically like playing this game blind because now see you cannot open these right here tracker cloak tracker and uh, visor enhancement 
And what it is, it's really stupid because if you have a big TV and you got a track around, it's all the way, your mini maps all, first of all, never put a mini map left, lower left corner. I've said that before. So the, so now if you have the track around, you're like running with your head down looking for feet to find the enemy. And even if they're running enhancement, they don't show their feet. So it's only works for, for people that are not in cloak that you see their feet. Now I thought that cloak tracker would be a counter for invisibility which it's not unless you get to a certain level it only shows when they cloak in and out their shield it doesn't sit there and show the outline of their invisibility so in all actuality invisibility is way overpowered in this game I mean it just basically controls the game so now you're trying to rely on your senses. And here for power, you got side pack, uh, point fire, like shoot from the hip, steady aim, s shooting down the hip, um, and then uh, weapons pack, dual weapons, loadout pro, rapid fire, and mobility enhancement, which is run faster. Uh, and, and see, that's another thing. You know, you won't be able to move around fast unless you have this perk and not drain from your power pack so what it does is that if you don't have mobility enhancement which helps you move around faster then the game is slowed down to the point where people are eventually down the road it's going to come to the point where you know people are not going to move and it's just invisibility and we're just going to wait and see where you're at before I make a move so basically it slows it's like the ultimate mechanical destruction of a game it has beautiful graphics great graphics great boards nobody's disputing that it's you know they have great they have great uh, graphics great boards just like Killzone 3 everything is just like Killzone 3 it's kinda like the opposite of Killzone 3 it's got great response to the controllers it moves well but the problem is, is that the invisibility is just completely overpowered in this game. There's no counter completely for that invisibility. And what that does is, is that if you're invisible and I can't see you, you're not showing up on radar, then I can't kill you. And if you don't decide to move, then I got to hunt for you. And then obviously if I don't have a uh, stealth pro on and you don't hear my footsteps, then I, you can see me coming a mile away. And that's the thing. If you don't have invisibility, then you'll have the the silent footsteps. You're going to see them if you don't hear them. So it's like there's no counter for that whole situation there. So if you're invisible sitting in one spot in a high traffic area or you're making an advancement on, in a high traffic area, there's there's no way they could see you. And, and the energy drain um, is not comparable. I mean, you're not going to lose much energy from your um, shield or from your uh, nano suit when you're invisible if you're just walking so you could just be walking you don't even have to run with that thing now here I had armor 3 and I'm gonna show you this is what I'm talking about comparative to uh, PC gameplay now everybody and I said this in my last videos before um, you know you should expect dedicated servers because in this game plenty of times you know it's bad enough it, you have it takes so many bullets to kill somebody when you're in when you're in a peer-to-peer -peer play player gameplay you know like uh, Halo Call of Duty Black Ops and these games it takes forever to kill somebody you're s delivering so many bullets into somebody by the time you get done trying to kill somebody you've already told the whole world here I am I'm over here killing this guy come shoot me and so I'm running um, the power suit with the rapid fire and uh, here look at that I get killed you know I mean an SMG up close shooting from the hip you should be dead automatically there should be no excuse but it's peer-to-peer -peer. it's not dedicated servers and uh, I'm sure it runs completely different on the PC it's a PC game you know what this game has for the Xbox and the PS3 is graphics that's what this game has graphics it's eye candy mechanically speaking the 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 perk system the invisibility it's not it's not a balanced shooting game you know 
people might say that right now and say, oh, you know, it's balanced, you don't know what you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, down the road, you will see that you, when you, re that's why I played the game three days straight to unlock everything, to f try to find a complete counter and have fun playing the game fluidly. There is no counter for invisibility. You have to use your senses. You have to, you have to like listen for footsteps. And then if you get lucky to hear them and you can proximate where that is coming from to make a counter to that, then great. If you have cloak tracker and you hope they cloak in, in front of you or uncloak or when they're about to cloak where it shows just the remnants of the cloak that you get lucky to see it, then who goody for you? I mean, that's not a counter. That's a waste of a, of a perk. Don't even bother getting it. And look, I have to run in a room to recharge. It harbors camping. That's what it, it harbors. It doesn't harbor gameplay. It doesn't harbor fun factor. It harbors, I, I come back from work and I come home. Look at how many times I got to punch and try to kill this guy because the game is lagging because it's peer-to-peer -peer, um, gameplay. I mean, I know everybody's tired of Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm tired of Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm tired of their peer-to-peer -peer gameplay. But for anybody to jump on the next eye candy graphical game without looking at the game mechanics, they're sadly mistaken and really, you know, you need to look in the games and, and, and tell the truth about them. I'm not going to say, oh, this game is great because of the graphics or because of the, this game is inherently bad because invis invisibility far supersedes any combination in this game that there's only literally one or two weapons that everybody's gonna you literally it's broke broken down to just the scar they don't tell you and then they also they don't tell you that they have noob mode on here from one to ten for people that are newbies to the game that <laughs> basically what they're saying is that you know by the time that you get to level 28 29 or above you're gonna be basically owning all the noobs because they're not gonna be able to unlock shit so tell me what type of growth this game is going to have if new people just can't pick this game up and play it on the console I don't care about the PC it's two different balls of wax but if there's a huge disparity between high gamers who unlock everything and new gamers who come along and play this game they got new mode from 1 to 10 but that's it their little safety net is gone after that from 10 to 20 something your ass is grass especially a couple give this game about a month and a half I mean they literally choke themselves out with the with the mechanics and the rewards in this game like their lessons are that hey everybody in the PC is older um, they know that they have to make some sacrifice that's how we get their tutelage and their loyalty to our game but they don't realize that the consoles are maturity of our younger our younger crowd. They're not gonna sit around and wait for by the time they can unlock half of the shit that you got in this game, the fucking new game's gonna come out. Who's gonna stick around for that shit? And you, the people that are gonna be playing this are like those people who st are stuck playing Rainbow Six. They're like, I'm not gonna play a new game. I mean, dude, it took me too long to get to this point. You know, and then yeah, okay, you got that. Those people. That's it. The game, the game stunts its own growth before it even gets started. And here's, I'm gonna break it down for you the simplest possible way for you. The counters for invisibility. You get invisibility first, easily. Enhancement. Now you get you get invisibility and armor shield, but those are automatic. Left and right bumper, automatic. But to enhance those things, and once you enhance them, uh, there's even it, when you start out with it, there's no counter for invisibility. They changed it from the demo. The scar used to have a silencer on it. The only weapon that has a silencer is SMG, and it takes two elbows to kill somebody. I mean, shit. It's bad enough that you're on peer to peer. How does Chaos, a little dinky ass company with Xbox Live, have dedicated servers? EA has dedicated servers with Xbox Live. 
They fought for those dedicated servers. Why isn't this game on dedicated servers? And these maps are so huge. And with the 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 uh, you think Ghost is bad on, on Black Ops? Try playing this game with invisibility. Try to tell tell me a counter for invisibility. I played it for three days straight. I put every the only counters are for invisibility. It's stealth mode where you can hear footsteps and the cloak tracker. If you're lucky to catch someone going in and out of it, that's it. That's it. You are forced into a style of gameplay that is not conducive of action. Action gameplay. Look, I'm trying to find this guy. I don't know where he went. The where the fuck? Now I have to go invisible now. And then by the time I run out of run out of my shield power, now I die because I come out of my shield and they see me and they kill me. I mean, what, what kind of encouragement is that? That's no fun. There's no fun in that. That's getting your ass kicked, and then like, you know, I had to bust my ass to pull these scores off in these games, and I'm rushing with the SMG and have a high power back. Like I have the, like I heard that guy's footsteps. That's how I seen that guy. Like I'm running around blind. I'm listening for footsteps as I'm running. That's how I'm trying to play. Is that the way you want to play a video game? I don't. And then, in order to play classic where they don't have invisible shield. I gotta be level 28. You know how you know how long it'll take you to get to level 28? Fuck that. You, I mean, first off, you know you're with EA. You have dedicated servers, and you don't promote the game. You don't have a standout for it anywhere. I mean, the game is. I had to go fucking dig through boxes to find it. <laughs> the game has a lot going against it for it to be successful. Here I call out the. Counter UAV, UAV, and helicopter. Uh, drop the shield disruptor, which is pointless because it comes down 10 hours later, and by that time, the guys have already moved. Look at that. Look at that lag. That's, that's ridiculous. You know what? I mean, I'm going to say the same thing about Call of Duty Black Ops or whatever. If it's not on dedicated servers, I don't think I can play it. I can't play games that when you shoot somebody and they don't die, how many bullets you have to put into somebody? Why do I have to waste... I mean... 90 bullets in a clip, 80 bullets, whatever, how many bullets in a clip to kill somebody? It makes no sense. I mean, it's like the shield with the bullets and the armor are not coordinated to know, okay, you know, this probably averages out to where they might die and run out of bullets and this guy is going to be, you know, he's going to need this, you know, all balance that out. It's no shit. That, nothing in this game is balanced. Nothing is in this. You know what? You want to be badass in this game, just you know slow to s s walk around you don't even have to run just walk with the invisa shield and uh, and just kill people that's it there's no counter for it there's no way they can counter for it and use the scar with the uh, holographic that's all you have to do this game is invisibility with the scar and the holographic that's it that's it you know I mean some people that are, are Halo players they might can relate to this game. I know if you're feeding the same way I'm feeding about Black Eye or uh, Battlefield 2, that's why I like Homefront. Same people for Halo. I mean, this guy over shield. You can shoot 100 people times, jump around and shit, all that. Yeah, you, know, you could say it's kind of like a Halo ripoff. You might like it like that. I don't know. But as it stands right now, I think that mechanically the game is uh, unbalanced, but graphically and. Uh, you know the game is great it's the best on Xbox but uh, mechanically balanced and um, servers are fucking no-go I mean my suggestion is rent the game seriously and tell me if you like it the first Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.